is a Sansui AU3900. Good quality amplifier, but as you can tell, the right channel seems to have a bit of an issue. A little bit of static, not playing too well. So let's take it apart and see what it's all about. First step of disassembly, take out the screws. One here, one here, one here, one here, here and here, and the same on the other side. Okay, let's take the top off, see what we got here. Fuses seem good. No apparent burn marks anywhere. I have cleaned this up previously, so it's uh, pretty uh, pretty clean. I'm thinking my first uh, uh, attack is going to be on these big capacitors here. Typically, they go, they bulge a little bit, and they wear out over time, leak or dry out or whatever. So I'm going to take take those out and put new ones in to get the bottom plate off. Of this unit we have to take the screws out that are surrounding on the outside so I'll go ahead and do that and with the screws out not taking out these ones of course because they don't hold the plate down the plate should come right off and now we have access to the bottom circuit board and we'll have to trace back to find out where the capacitors are mounted. Here's a peek at the capacitors. It's kind of hard to tell, but it seems to say they're 35 volt, 3,300 UF. So I'm going to need a couple of those and I'll need to order them and uh, wait for them to come in and install them. It's a little hard to see, but there is a slight bulge on each of these capacitors. And they tend to do that with age and with time. So I'm, I'm hoping replacing those will solve the problem. I believe I've tracked it down to these terminals here and here here and here so that's what I'll have to unsolder. Upon further inspection I've located an area which may be bridging and uh, causing a bit of a, a problem in the circuit so I'm going to first try to clean this out and then see if that doesn't solve the problem. I like to use a uh, solder wick to take up the excessive solder that's on the bottom of the uh, the pegs that come through from the capacitors A matter of soaking it all up and pulling out the capacitors. Okay, so I've removed the solder from the three feet of the capacitor, as you can see there. The solder has been removed. Here's the capacitors. Get that in picture here. Okay, here's the capacitors, and so we just remove them. That's what they look like on the bottom. If I can get that in focus here. There's three prongs that stick out from each one of them. And we'll have to put some new ones in. Here are the specs on the old capacitors. Here are the uh, feet of the capacitors coming through and I've soldered them uh, in place, six solder joints and uh, yeah, we'll clip those tails off there and uh, turn it over, plug it in, see how it works. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of rub rubbing alcohol and clean off the uh, residue from the flux from the solder, get a little better cleaner connection here, a little bit of, 
Here are the new capacitors installed on, on the top side. They're 50 volt and, and they're Elna capacitors, uh, uh, 3300 UV. The uh, negative to the negative side is pretty well assured with the, the third um, wire mount on the capacitor. So yeah, there it is. Okay, well I replaced the the capacitors, the large ones on this AU3900, however, it still kept cutting out and um, I did some research on the internet to determine that often. It's the um, TR08, TR09, and TR010 transistors that um, go faulty and uh, so I was considering uh, replacing those, if not these other ones as well. So, um, yeah, so my uh, static problems were still there, and the relay right here kept cutting out uh, after a while, after it warmed up. So I had to do some more work. So upon further investigation, at the back of the board where they were soldered onto the, onto the board, um, this was the uh, pin structure for uh, TR-010. And this is the pin structure for TR09. And when I looked further, I discovered that this pin was bent over and was uh, soldered onto this pin here. So the uh, the three legs, these two legs were soldered together. So I didn't think that was appropriate. I uh, re-soldered uh, the section in. And the other, and I re-soldered a joint here and it's still looking a little cold soldery. When they turn gray like that, I believe they're kind of cold soldered. So, um, yeah, I fixed that and I, um, I re-soldered this blue wire on and wherever else uh, and some of the power wires on, I re-soldered what appeared to be poor connectors. And uh, lo and behold, that seems to have solved the problem. I've got uh, clarity on the unit and um, no popping or or, or the relay uh, cutting out and quit stopping the amplifier so okay here is the uh, final results of uh, my repairs um, to uh, resoldering some of the uh, the transistors and replacing the the uh, larger capacitors in this AU 3900 Sansui so we had crackling and popping and uh, as you can tell there doesn't seem to be any issues it's been running for about five hours and uh, everything seems to be fine i don't hear any noises and the the uh, channels are clear and quiet can't hear a thing so i think that would be called a success for now thanks for watching